Well, one of my things I'm really proud of, I remember my mother, my mother was always picking up stuff that might be valuable, that she might use someday, that, that were good, but that somebody else was throwing away. So that was something I gained from my mother. I uh, didn't gain a whole lot from her, but I gained that. And uh, with that said, I'm driving home on the freeway right here, 90, new 90. We call it new 90 because there's old 90 over here. They're kind of parallel. Anyway. Um, anyway, I'm driving home. And I look over the shoulder, over the overpass, down at the railroad tracks because there's trains there. And, you know. Anyway, it, if you drive with tunnel vision, it's not a good way to drive because the fool beside you could cut you off and if you ain't if you don't see him coming up to you then you ain't got time to react so tunnel vision ain't good. Anyway I don't have tunnel vision most of the time. Anyway I look over and I see this big shiny silver looking thing and I said ooh that may have junk value and it would fit in my van. Okay so I'll do something else and I thought I was going to go to work and I didn't. So that that was a bomb out. That was another story. Uh, if I remember, I'll tell you about. <clears throat> but anyway, after I, that fiasco, I got home and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go down there and check that out. So I went down there. There was two uh, crew trucks sitting there for the railroad. So I didn't want to make a big old show of digging through garbage and junk and stuff. So I just went down there and kind of looked around, and the big silver thing was the bottom of a freezer. And it stunk. Um, I don't know if it was unplugged and live, or there's a story there that would be interesting. And uh, if you was a story writer, you could definitely come up with a good story here. But um, I don't know what it is. There was there was about three three or four different age range it looked like in that mess. And um, there was some baby clothes, and there's some older kid clothes, and there was this. That right there. That has a green light on it. That's a Dell. Now the keyboard wasn't with it. That's my keyboard. The keyboard I got with it over there, that, it, it don't come up. There's something wrong with it. So, anyway, this is a Windows 98 machine. Um, it's an XP machine. Um, it cost me thirty dollars. Um, the reason it cost me thirty dollars is it had a passport on it, and um, so anyway, it's not really generally a good thing to take old computers and bring them up because you don't know what's on them. But considering the way that the material that was laying there, I mean, there was one keyboard I didn't keep because it had fingernail polish on it and it looked like a kid had been drawing on it and stuff so it looked like a teenager had been drawing on it. So anyway, it's an XP machine. XP was a fairly decent platform. Now I do like my my Windows 10 platform but what XP has and for life of me I don't know why Bill Gates got rid of it but what XP has is a video editor, which in this case is just blank because I ain't put nothing in it. Video editor. And um, I can make videos now because I picked up a computer that was laying in the junk. Hmm. It had been thrown out of trucks so with cases I whopper jawed. Um, could have been rained on, I doubt it, but it could have been. And I don't know how long it'll run. It could go out tomorrow. Murphy's Law. But right now it's up. Uh, there's apparently no pictures on it, nowhere. Uh, no videos. I've looked through several folders. There's one Word document with one sentence in it. Uh, something like Christmas presents and Mom won't tell. Sound like a kid's project. So anyway, there's nothing on the machine. Except 
And when does Movie Maker? Yeah, when does Movie Maker? Was for life me. Bill Gates got rid of. It ain't nowhere to be found. I guess people with Windows X, Windows 10, don't make videos no more. Okay, sure. Anyway, I worked last night. I missed a night because I had to go in at 1 a.m. I text my boss multiple times. On the twenty, okay. On the twenties, okay. You, you, I'm gonna hopefully you can see it there. Uh, yeah, this is on Sunday. I got the call on Sunday. This is Sunday, and no response. So I just blew it off. And said, "Well, he's at home. He ain't gonna answer his phone." This is Monday morning, and then this is later Monday day. Did I did the call say 1 p.m.? No response. There's no the gray boss is the response. So down here, this is yesterday. Are we supposed to come in tonight? Yes, at 10 p.m. Yes, at 10 p.m. Now, if you can answer the last text, okay? If you can answer that text. Then why couldn't they answer the other text and let me know that I was going to come in at 1 a.m.? I lost a day because I went to the country to help a friend of mine. Y'all don't talk to me. I got other things to do. I don't need to sit at my house, stare at my phone, thinking I'm going to work and tell my friends, oh, I can't do anything because I'm staring at my phone, hoping my boss is going to call me. Sorry, it ain't going to happen in my lifetime. So, peace.